$150. Um, could I get a motion to approve their bid? I move that we approve the bid from Tropical Environmental at a cost not to exceed 5600 Okay, Ron has moved 5600 uh, to approve their bid not to exceed $5,600. Can I get a second? I second. Lisa seconds. Any further discussion? Yeah, let it be noted that that's the lowest bid. Yes. And it went out for bid. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, okay. Um, Jan, could you call the roll on that one? Mm -hmm. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Trustee Barshes. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Okay. The next item is to approve um, the comprehensive plus land management agreement. Um, yeah, why don't you talk a little bit about CBI, about the course? I mean, this is, you know, Gail, <laughs> these are your, right, you, you've been a, working with these folks for years, and it's nice to have um, you sort of walk us through the contract this time. Well, actually, um, we, we asked them how long we have been with them, and it was since 1996. Hmm. So we've had a 22-year um, association with the company. They know our they know our our network very well, and that is something to be said for that. Also, um, the figures are are higher because it's based on the number of devices and the number of equipment that they have to monitor. Mm -hmm. And we have gone up in the past year 128 devices. We're also getting a network so that we can have our Macs um, be on um, the network so that they can do their printing and they can do the PC res so that they can make reservations for the Macs. And so they're building actually a Mac ne network as well as a, a PC network. So they're really trying to be very fair to us, even though it there is an increase, but I think they wanted to spread the increase over two years. That's why those figures are different for each of the, the each year, um, just to make it not be quite as um, hard to swallow for us. That's why there's two different numbers for each each year. Right. That's outline and right. the attachment A, I think they call it. Yes. And it also involves, we have um, we have on-site, actually he's the president of the company, is on-site with us one day a week. And we also have backup from, you know, 24-7 backup from all of their staff. Um, I highly recommend that you approve it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, to put this into context, the year prior to our moving to CVI, we paid $75,000 for these services. So we are still not Back paying. Back in 19... Yeah, I, I was going to say the same thing. Wow. So we have still not reached what it was costing us before we started with CVI. And we have lots more equipment hmm. here now oh, than much, we did much. then. We had a single person vendor at that time, and he was not able to keep up with what we were doing even then. So, you know, this has brought our costs under control, and they are still lower than they were at the time that we moved to CBI. So the level of service has increased exponentially, and the cost has not. So that's a very important element of understanding the relationship that we have with them. I move approval of the CBI contract as proposed. Um, I don't know that we need to put a dollar figure in it. It's covered in attachment A in detail. So I would, you know, for maybe two years. for two years, for two yes. Year period. Mm -hmm. right. Iran has moved, uh, and Lisa second the uh, CDI proposal uh, pursuant to the agreement attached, you know, behind table uh, 11A, including attachment 
Katam 11, including attachment A. Um, so it's been moved and seconded. Um, could, uh, Jan, could you call the roll? Question, what's the net number of increase in devices? They, it's um, one, it, this is covering 176, right. but I know that they'd increased. Over. We went up 28 devices. Okay, so that's also reflected in that cost. Right. Okay. okay. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin? Aye. Trustee Barshis? Yes. Trustee? Okay. Aye. <laughs> well, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we got a lot of business taken, you know, taken care of. Um, we now move to the um, director, co-director's report. Is there a report? question? No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. We, got we got one more. Yes. Yeah, we got one more. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The revised. I know yeah. it was too recent. <laughs> yeah. You got this I one. I you had it. You got Tesco Associates yeah. and the yeah. integrated facilities. You know, I started... I went through the tab like that, and it wasn't behind here, and I was, I was sort of going through tab by tab. Got it. It's, it was definitely too right easy. <laughs> A big, still doing very the well. The big um, project that we have going, of course, is the landscaping project that has been worked through meetings throughout the course of the year, um, studied carefully, by the landscaping committee um, and uh, continuing to work uh, in particular uh, meeting to see whether this is something that we as a library could continue to carry through um, during a man you know leadership transition and we've come to the conclusion with the able assistance of Betty who this this particular project will fall under the the way they've allocated things but of course it always everything always affects everybody uh, so we don't kid ourselves on that so um, there are two pieces well yes two pieces to this um, the integrated facilities solution and the Tesca and there are Integrated facilities is what we would call a construction manager. Um, to identify the parties on this, we've been working with Tesco, who is our architect, helped develop the pro, uh, you know what we want to do. We now have to move to the next phase of preparing bid packets, getting the bids out there, supervising, and then ultimately when we select the contractors, Installing this, it has become pretty much standard for the way we have been doing business recently. Um, to hire a construction manager, um, you know, maybe a larger governmental unit wouldn't need to do that. They, you know, the village has engineering staff on site, but we do not. So we need people to, for whom expertise it is to review, you know, the bid packets, to evaluate the contracts, are familiar with that, to be on the job site, to make sure the things are done correctly. And we have found that to be a successful and ultimately cost-effective way to do the work because it gets done correctly. The first time, or sometimes the first time plus a little bit more, and they and they actually draw those you know things that do need to be addressed. So it's been very helpful. This firm um, uh, came; it comes very highly recommended. Uh, integrated facilities, uh, and with all of that, uh, Betty, what more do you want to say about the contract itself, the contract amount, and which Tesco first? Should we do Tesca first, or should first, we? Do? Sure, we could do Tesca first. I mean, they have been with the project since the outset. They were the design firm, Tesco. and now they would come in at, with um, construction design consulting, basically. Um, they have just finished their 90% document for um, for the project that was submitted to us by email yesterday, and and it's sitting over there in print form. Um, and so their part of the project would involve making sure that the plans that have been drawn up are followed through. Um, they will work with IFS, but there is not, they are not duplicating efforts on this. Who's responsible for the permit? The, the uh, integrated facility solutions okay. will do the bid, will do the bids. 
permits. And the permits. Yeah. Um, our, right now, Tuska is working with the city with a preliminary. They gave them the 90% document sort of to initiate that process, but I believe the permits will be then done by IFS. Because okay. it wasn't clear when I was reading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. I move approval of the Tesca contract not to exceed $20,000. It's been moved and seconded. We don't no, it hasn't been seconded. Has there been no. a second? I'll second it with just to also note that it is a Tesca proposal, but also includes another company, GH. It includes a second company, yes, GHA, in there. As a combined as proposal. a subcontractor, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, I'll second. So it's been moved and seconded to approve the uh, proposal from Tesca located behind well A eleven A. Eleven A is added. Um, and I should also note that we've heard from Jody actually before this you know, the board, she's presented to the board itself. So any further discussion? And again, this will, the, the timeline on this, after we, I assume, approve these, then um, the bids will come before the board meeting to approve in July. They'll be sent out to bid. They'll come back 30 days later, and we will approve these bids one hopes in all uh, you know uh, likelihood in a special meeting for that purpose in the beginning of September or the very last week of July depending we have to you know there's a 30 day bid period that we have to to evolve so that's been moved so they think they can make it by our, our July meeting because you got for July and a whole bunch of other stuff. They are quite familiar with this this schedule, and I suspect that that landscape architects are pretty familiar with the, getting the work done in a time when they can do it. Um, it is their benefit to get this done in this construction season. What is the duration of the contract? Because I was to those to it ends. I would assume so. Which contract are you talking about? Tesco? Tesco? Yeah. Tesco, right now. Um, yeah, I mean, they talk about um, prepare a final done. punch list upon substantial. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's. And they've worked with IFS in the past. They have, yeah. yeah. Quite a few okay. times. Okay. Hmm? Jen? Yeah, Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Trustee Barshus. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. All right, so that takes care of Tesco. Now we will I move. move approval of the contract with Integrated Facilities Solutions for an amount not to exceed $25,000. Um, in my introduction, I explained their role um, to be the on site managers to stay on top of the trades, um, phase mm -hmm. arrival of tradespeople, um, making sure that access to the library is open at all times and working with the library staff to accommodate their work, but also making sure patrons, uh, there will be no shutdown, as I understand it. Of, uh, on the library at any time. So we have mm -hmm. a motion on the floor from Ron to approve the IFS Integrated Facility Solution. Um, is, did what was the number sec again? Did hey, somebody second that one? Oh. Video second. No, I meant the, the dollar number dollar again. 20, not to exceed 25. 25. They bid 24 3 something. Yeah, okay. okay, Trustee Rogers. But we need a second. Oh, we need I a second. second. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Trustee Barshus, yes. Trustee Ward. Aye. All right. Now we will move on to the director's report. <laughs> All right. So we've welcomed a number of new staff members. It's not mm -hmm. a, we haven't increased the number. There's been some people who have gone down in hours. And two of these people are summer help as well. Mm -hmm. So um, it's kind of nice to see new faces here. Um, I went to the CCS governing board meeting. I um, 
one of the interesting things, it hasn't been voted on yet, but Morton Grove is in negotiations to join the CCS Consortium. Oh. Ah. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Is that always good for the consortium as a whole? Well, that was something that was under <laughs> discussion, and, you know, what is the number where the consortium gets mm -hmm. too big? Um, what is the number where um, the, the CCS staff is um, has too much work to do, but they've looked at all of those things and felt that there was a benefit to the consortium and a benefit to those libraries that are around Morton Grove and, you know. Were they a part of the Skokie group previously? I think they were, but I don't think they are now. And I understand that the, yeah, they're, not now. they're not now. And I understand they have a relatively new director who really understands the benefits of being in a consortium. And, and they're not that big. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't think they'll be a drain. I think it'll be nice for our patrons because Morton Grove isn't that far away. And I imagine that they might have some unique book that one of our patrons might be interested in. So mm -hmm. um, so 